Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Let's talk about Dinesh Karthik. So there's this whole, he's kind of become a revolution on social media as well. I think there's not a single cricket fan in the country who doesn't adore Dinesh yeah. Karthik. So what's gone right for him? How has he sustained so long? I remember seeing him as one of my earliest memories in cricket. Like I started watching cricket properly in 2001, 2002. He was playing in the under 19 World Cup. He was the keeper that time. And it's 2022 now. Yeah, he's like, uh, I would say, <laughs> uh, he's like the Benjamin Button as he grows old. <laughs> he's getting younger yeah. and younger, getting fitter and fitter. And he's <laughs> like old wine is getting better and better. Yeah. And I think he's in a very, very happy space now. Mm. He's recently blessed with twins. Mm. And uh, his wife Deepika Palikal, I know her very well. From, I know them from age 12. And he's in a happy space and surrounded by friends. And I think uh, he went through some rough patches in his personal side also. And right now, I think he's on the other side. Everything is green now. And I think with regards to his performance on the field, I think uh, a lot of credit goes to Abhishek Nair. I think he's mm. done a lot of work with him. And uh, on top of that, I think he's enjoying it now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in a bliss. What we call it is a zone. Mm. He's in a zone now. I think happiness has something to do with recovery and performance. Sir. I can't put my finger and say that will happen for everyone. Mm. But I think it has worked for Dinesh. But the very fact that I never thought he's going to come back to the Indian team. Honestly, if you had asked me one year back, I'd say, ah, come on, it's a dream. I thought it was over. But this man is like, uh, he can repeatedly pursue his dream. And uh, I think uh, his ability to bounce back. I mean, there was a period where he lost out on the race because of Dhoni. The Dhoni era, he lost out a lot. And to take that hit and come back, work, work, work. He came to Indian team as an opener some years back. Mm. Then he lost that. Then again, he came back as a fini sort of a batsman, keeper back up, something like that. This time as a finisher. The number of avatars he's taken to come back. In the, I mean, we heard about Jimmy Amarnath doing the number of comebacks back in the days. I think Dinesh Kathik must have done 30 to 40 times comebacks to the Indian team. Yeah. Now, I think uh, all his dreams and his, what to say, has come true. Finally, he's vindicated. He feels that he's got the tag of one of the greatest finishers in the game. Mm. And knowing Dinesh Karthik very well, he will be at peace with that. Yeah. I mean, if he had finished off his career without doing this part now, he would have been a very upset man. And yeah. I think a lot of credit goes to him and his entourage. And uh, I would give a lot of credit to Nair also. Yeah. Because he believes in him and he has delivered for him. So it's a team. In football, there's a saying called the streets will never forget. <laughs> mm. So they name these really hipster footballers who were icons. There's a guy called Dimitri Paye. Uh -huh. There's a guy called Michu. You know, these iconic footballers. Dinesh Karthik is a cricketer that the streets will he never forget. That's most of his training here in Mumbai only. Mm. I mean, I, I know his typical day. He's a mad punk. He'll bat from morning 9 to evening 4 o'clock and mm. he's a person who believes in volume. But his madness now has got a method. And the right, I mean, the right page of cricket, I would say is 36 or something, 37, whatever. Uh, I think he's matured as a person. He used to be hyper when he was young. Now he's a lot more calmer. Still that little bit of hyper thing is there. That is Dinesh Karthik. You can't take that out of him. But I think he's, he understands the game as a whole now. Mm. I mean, playing the game with talent is one. Understanding the entire game, falling in love with that entire process. I think he has fallen in love with the process and he's an out and out cricket nut. He can talk and live and breathe cricket 24 hours. Mm. I tell him sometimes, Dinesh, you talk only cricket 24 hours. And apart from that, he's a very interesting character. He can talk about movies, he can talk about huh. trends. And... Uh, if by any chance, if you go for shopping with them, you can be rest assured that your pockets will be empty. <laughs> he will ensure that you buy truckloads of things for your own self. <laughs> and he can sell ice to Eskimos. <laughs> Dinesh Karthik needs to be on the podcast and I'll tell you why. There's a lot to learn from him. Everyone's aware of what happened in his personal life some years ago. Mm -hmm. And a lot of young men in the country need to hear a story like that from the horse's mouth. I think he's in a, uh, to put, uh, to cut a long story short, I think he's evolved as a person. Yeah. And he's in a very happy space and his understanding of the sport and uh, his purpose of life. I think he has converged all these things 
in a package and he is enjoying his day all sports fans in india will agree when i say that dinesh karthik is one of the greatest sports stories this country has seen what's he going to do after cricket according to you knowing him so well he'll be one of the best commentators in the world mm. without a doubt okay yeah. and remember last year in the, the interviews in uh, england interviews in england and uh, i think michael holding told him uh, oh, sort of is a versace of the mm. commentary field or whatever <laughs> and he came with the 27 suitcases with 40 odd suits and stuff like that wow. what was it? i mean i'm trying to remember uh, michael holding had a i took a little uh, dig at him with regard to all his dressing and fashion uh, he'll become a fashion icon of the commentary world mm. and he comes with some interesting anecdotes and he's a good storyteller oh mm. he can be a very good storyteller yeah I think uh, personally again this is very outside perspective but when you look at someone like Dinesh Karthik you learn about mental toughness we had Raina on the podcast as well that's what I gained from him so every podcast teaches me one thing in this podcast I learned the power of muscles <laughs> but uh, with with Raina with I Dinesh learned Dinesh Karthik I'll tell you a very interesting the bugger is so mentally strong hmm. but I'll tell you a flip side he's got a lot of uh, how do you say superstitions he would say deja vu's or uh-huh. routines or whatever um he's mentally very strong no doubt but by 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 a chance you say dinesh you bet by if you tell him you're batting great you're going to score 100 probably he will stop saying hello to you <laughs> <laughs> if you no. go tell him you're batting shit you're yeah. going to get out early today he'll hug you yeah. <laughs> he likes this sort of uh, opposite way mm-hmm. of approaching things and uh, before he goes to bat he will pick one guy in the team and he'll talk to him Mm. If you see him throw the series, he'll be the same person. He'll sit next to him, talk to him, and he'll call it routines. And I'll make a lot of fun of him. <laughs> we take the Mickey out of him all the time, and uh, that's the beauty of going on a tour, taking the Mickey out of him. And uh, he loves the storytelling, and we have a great time. Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you, and here's a link to the whole episode.